Hi and welcome back to my channel. You guys, I'm excited about this week's coaching video because this week I'm going to be talking about how to know when you have found your purpose. Okay, this is very important. I actually was not even sure what I was going to talk about this week, but when I came across some information, I said, you know what? I think we're going to talk about that because everybody wants to find their purpose, but some of you have already found your purpose. You just aren't aware of it because you didn't know what to look for. So let's jump right on in. Number one, what you are doing, you, well, let me say this. You know you found your purpose when, number one, what you're doing feels like it was meant for you. You ever do something, you feel like what, whatever it is that you're doing was just meant for you and you alone? So, what you're doing feels right in every way, and it feels like this is what you were meant to do or to be. It feels as good as your favorite chair or a warm bowl of oatmeal or a good back scratch. You are just going to know, okay? Number two, you have more energy even though you're working harder. Chances are you are working harder than you've ever worked, but you are fulfilled, and that is the key takeaway, that you are fulfilled with what you're doing. So when you go home at night, you aren't stressed because you're exhausted from hating your job all day, and I don't. I, I personally do not, but I do know people that absolutely hate their jobs, and they go home stressed out, and, and, and when you're doing what you what you were meant to do or you found your purpose when you go home at night yeah you might be a little tired but you're not bitching about the job you're not talking about how much you hate the job you, you love it so um i'm sorry where did i leave oh oh you are exhausted and you fall happily into your bed and you sleep so much better you wake up with more energy even though you're working harder because you love what you're doing and 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 that's what makes the difference number three other people's lives are enriched by what you do. Y'all, that's important. Like every rule, there are exceptions. But for the most part, when you find your purpose, other people will recognize it too. And they will. And sometimes they recognize it before you do. Because they will be impacted by your work. You will be excited to share your purpose. You will be excited to give of yourself. You will be happy to help others explore their life's purpose. Your life is not the only one that will change. When you are living your purpose, your life is not the only one that changes. The lives of the people around you, the lives of the people that you come in contact with, they're going to change as well. You will change the lives of everyone around you for the better. That's an amazing thing. And not everybody can say that. Number four, you willingly, you're willing to take a risk. Once you realize what you're supposed to be doing, you become your own kind of superhero. You don't need anyone to pat you on the back and tell you what a wonderful job you're doing. You are fully aware of your greatness. You are not scared to go out on a limb and take risks to ensure that you succeed. You will ask for help when you need it. You will reach out to people who not so long ago seemed unreachable, and you will bask in the absolute knowledge that everything is going to work out. Number five, it's no longer about the money. Mm. Just like your disappearing fear, money is no object when you find your purpose. Whether it is taking a pay cut to do what you're supposed to be doing or try to figure out how to come up with the money to make it happen. Once you realize what your purpose is, the money is a trivial matter. Do you hear what I just said? Once you realize what your purpose is, money is, is a trivial matter. You will find a way to come up with the money that you need, period. Number six, like-minded people find their way into your life. The law of attraction has a funny way of rearing its beautifully purposeful head once you finally realize what, you, what you've been looking for. You will run into people with the same purpose as you or a similar purpose. You will be introduced to people who are looking for exactly the thing that you have to offer, exactly the thing that I have to offer. It's Murphy's Law in reverse. Everything that can go right will go right. Because, mm, you know, Murphy's Law says everything that can go wrong will go wrong. But we're going to say everything that can go right will go right. And the people that you need to be in line with, they're going to come into your space. And you're going to sit there flabbergasted because you're not going to, you're going to be trying to figure out, Lord, how in the world did this happen? 
Number one, pray big. Oh, you know, that's our new thing. Pray big, but and then God will start to align those people that you need to meet or that need to support your business or need to, to get what you have. He's going to send them on. Number seven, your tribe will find you. Once you find your purpose, you will notice that your tribe, that your tribe of the people that circle around you, the people that want to be a part of what you're doing, they're going to seek you out. You don't have to go looking for them because they're going to come looking for you. They will want your advice. They will want your help, and sometimes they just want to stand in your presence because you make them feel good about life. The reasons don't matter, but they will come. Number eight, peace will be a part of your life, in, even in the process of more stress. When you find that thing that you've been looking for all day, you have no choice but to feel at peace. Even when your life is bogged down with more stress due to financial reasons or time constraints, when you find your purpose, you will be settled in your soul. Life will seem oddly peaceful because you finally know what you're supposed to be doing. See, when you're not sure about what it is you're supposed to be doing, be doing there's no real peace in your life you, you know what i'm saying and we all have been down that road if you haven't honey just keep on living because you will but when you find peace like i've i feel like i found peace i honestly can say you all know i'm celebrating all year long 30 years of federal government service and i've always had great jobs i've always had great supervisors i've had a few that you know were kind of iffy but guess what honey god moved those folks on out of my way i didn't have to move but that's a whole nother video but, you know, but, but when I started doing my own thing with my, you know, with my businesses, I feel at peace. Even if my day gets a little hectic at work and maybe I have a little bit more that I need to do, when I come home and I start working on my own business, I, I feel a sense of peace. Number nine. Your relationships will improve despite the adversity in front of you. It's amazing how your life takes turns you never expect it after you find your purpose. When you realize what your duty is to yourself, did y'all hear what I said? When you realize what your duty is to yourself, it makes you look at your duty as, look at what your duty is to the people around you as well. Once you find your purpose, all the negativity you've been pro pro uh, projecting on the other, on other people Oh, I'm sorry, all the negativity negativity you've been projecting on the ones you love is brought to your attention. It's okay to apologize and start over. You have purpose now and so do your relationships. So that is, is that's key. That is key. When you find your purpose, your relationships will change, hopefully for the better. And so you know if you've said some ugly things, you've snapped, you, you weren't patient, this is your opportunity to uh, to apologize to those people. Move on. And number 10, last but not least, you will become a better version of you. That is so important. Even if you have to work harder, even if your stress level has increased, once you find your true purpose, you just become a better version of yourself. And that's because the world becomes a better version of the world to you. The change took place inside of you. And you're feeling, you're feeling better about your life. You are more positive and it shows on the outside. The world is just reflecting back to you what you're putting out. Y'all, that's deep. The world is reflecting back to you what you're putting out. Mm. And you know what? That made me think. When you put out negativity, negativity comes back on you. So be careful what you're putting out there to the world. Because what you put out there, you will get back. All right. So let me do a quick recap, and I promise I will let you be. So again, today we talked about how to know when you have found your purpose. And that is so important. So if you've not found your purpose yet, I want you to really sit, meditate, pray, whatever it is that you do to find your purpose, because you have one. So please don't ever say, well, Michelle, I don't have a purpose. No, you have one. You just need to figure out what it is, because we all have one. So number one, I said what you're doing feels like it was meant for you. You know, I got into doing coaching, and I thought, well, Lord, my life is not perfect. I can't coach anybody. It ain't, it's not that bad either, though. Let me be clear about that. But I realized I was walking in my gift and in my purpose because this is something I've been doing 
since God, elementary school that I can remember. I've been that person that people come to to ask my advice on what it is they should or shouldn't do. And I realized, Michelle, this is your purpose. You've been trying to run away from it, which I have, but this is your purpose. Number two, you have more energy even though you're working harder. Number three, other people's lives are enriched by what you do. And I love it when somebody comments on one of my videos or sends me an email or, you know, inboxes me on other social media platforms and say, and they say to me, Michelle, thank you so much. I love what you do because what you do, it has enriched my life so much. What you do or that video you did gave me a new perspective on something I've been dealing with. That is always a good feeling. And no, I don't need pats on the back, but it's always a great feeling when people let you know how much they appreciate what you do. Number four, you're willing to take risks. When you find your purpose, oh my goodness, y'all, you will take risks like you just can't imagine, okay? Number five, it's no longer about the money. What you do is not about, now, let's, let's be clear. Let's be clear. You need the money. I need the money. We need the money. But what you do is not really centered around the money. You know what I'm saying? You do it because you have a true passion for it. You have a call and you have a love for it. So money is not going to be the thing that drives you anymore. Yeah, it's not money. Uh, money, you know, money drives us to do what we do. Let's just keep it all the way real. But the main focus is that you're working in your your gift, and your what you're doing gives adds value to other people's lives. That's what's driving you. Number six, like-minded people find their way into your life. I can't tell you how many like-minded people that I've come across recently. Y'all, it's a blessing, and I thank God for it. Number seven, your tribe will find you. The people that need what you have to offer, they will find you. You don't have to worry about going to chase them down because they will find you. Number eight, peace will be a part of your life, even in the presence of more stress. You ever wonder how some days you are given more tasks at work or you have to do more things for your business, but you, you have that presence of peace in your life. And you look back at the end of the day and you go, wow, you know what? I had to do this. I had to overcome that. But yet I'm peaceful. So it's not that my life can't get stressful and hectic at times, but I have that peace that allows me to remain calm and to stay calm and do what I need to do. Number nine, your relationships will improve despite the adversary in front of you. That's what it's all about. If, if, it, if, if you are walking in your purpose, you, your relationships are going to change. You know why? Because you are now a different person. And we talked about, you know, what you project. I'm sorry, no, no, that's number 10. But we talked about how once you become a different person, you can now apologize to those people that you may have hurt, that you may have gotten on their last good, safe, sanctified nerve with your stuff because you try to get it together. And number 10, last but not least, you will become a better version of you. If you don't do anything else... Listen to what I'm saying. If you don't do anything else, you guys, I want you to get number 10. Become a better version of you. And you might say to yourself, but Michelle, I'm fine the way I am. And you know what? You probably are. But we can all stand to become a better person, a better version of who we are right now. I love me. Well, heck, I've always loved me. But I know that as I grow in my business, I grow in my relationships. You see what I'm saying? I am becoming a better version of me all the time. I'm always evolving. So that's what I want you guys to do. Become a better version of who you are right now. So that's all I have, you guys. Thank you so much to my newest subscribers. Thank you so much to those of you that continue to support me in all that I do. I love you guys to the moon and back. And I want to encourage you, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button because I don't want you to miss anything. Don't forget to tap that bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. But I, again, I can't stress this. I can't stress enough that I want you guys to go out and find your purpose. And if you already know what your purpose is, drop me a comment below and let me know what that purpose is. If you're having a hard time finding your purpose, let me know that as well and let's have a dialogue to or a conversation if you will I like where I just said that <laughs> to find out what your passion is because you have it we just need to figure out what it is so until next week we have another interesting coaching topic to talk about that will make you better that will make me better that will make us better take care and we'll talk again soon